go to settle in first. Otherwise, I don't think the fans will enjoy being um, where the team is uh, in the bottom half. Well, we're underway right here at the Gaddafi Arena with the home team, Gaddafi FC, getting onto the ball there in the green and yellow, trying to pass the ball in first time, hits the upright, and almost scoring probably what would be the fastest goal ever in the start times of Ghana Premier League. The intent that they have, but just look at the run made by Impata, getting up in from the outside, and then he creates a space for himself, and then he sets up Beka Buyala. That was a very good opportunity. All averted by the defense of Busoga United. There's an elbow thrown out there by Charles Mulanda Sande. And the referee will reach to the pocket here. No two ways about it. It's a yellow card for flinging out an elbow blatantly and right in the face of the assistant referee. Well, he might be bet. He might actually call the best attorneys at law into this one. And there's absolutely no way that the referee will retract that card. If anything, that could have even been worse. Yeah, I think that that was a very, very bad play coming in now from Charles Mulanda against his former teammate at Busoga. And that is um, Pata. I'd have expected him to actually treat him better. Now he puts himself in a difficult situation because any other mistake, then he's going to walk. And that will definitely put uh, Busoga in a precarious position. A couple of bodies lining up here for the set this. Free kick from uh, the corner angle. Quite a number of bodies to aim out for, including uh, that tall lad in there, Barabara Maguero Franco from Gaddafi. Free kick here, set to deliver this particular one. Ball flung in. Frank Molini with another poor execution. That's two in two. One was a short come cross that had no one in target. Second one is absolutely wayward. Those apologies will probably fall on deaf ears for the fans. He should do better. No, absolutely. Because I'll tell you, Jermaine, that by the time you get in position to take such a free kick, you've been practicing these at the training ground. And you know the patterns and movements of your teammates and how you're going to get into an area now. And then he takes such a wayward course. And then Pata now seems like he's revenging for the el earlier elbow. Uh, retaliation, and uh, that's going to be oh, quite another chapter added to this uh, stoic duel between these two. As now both have gone to the referee's book, Rashid Pata and Charles Mulanda. Any mistake from them? Looks mm -hmm. like there's some real acrimony between them and some yeah, bad and, blood to settle. And the funny thing is that... Um, they were teammates uh, last season and the season before. Only goes to enhance the rivalry, probably. Mm, maybe um, he said certain things. Maybe Pata said certain things when he left. Or maybe even from the training ground when he was still at, at the same club. They used to have uh, a bit of a feud that we don't know about. Poor ball control there, allowing uh, Osoga to once again lose the ball. But now they get back onto it and are uh, asking for calm. This is Chivare. Take it out for Muranda Charles. Charles tries to cross the ball in. Empty space. Plenty of bodies here. But unable to hit target. Isaac Doka was in acres of space. The shot coming in from Bashamu Mugwa. And now picked up well by Amir Kaka. Uh, possession. Take it away. Busoga United want to retain possession. Clumsy play once again from Mugwa. It's actually this time coming in from Kenneth Elvis Chibari. Oh, it was actually Bashamu Mugwa, and he's been yes. complaining ceaselessly to the referee. It's inevitable that a yellow card would come through. If he carries on in this mall, it's going yeah, to be a second he's, he's, yellow for exactly. him. Exactly. Yeah, it I, might be a second yellow here for him, for Bashamu. Well, his teammates continue to plea his case. The captain insisting, but he squared up straight in front of the referee after getting that yellow card. And now it looks like the referee will be taking a couple more names as well in here. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be the captain as well. And now he calls a couple more. And it looks like the roll call is going to continue. Isaac Isinde, yellow card. And he continues as well to square up to the referee. And it looks like Gaddafi will look to take advantage here. Mounting a cross in for Muhindo. Well, he gets that on target, but uh, without any real power or precision. Easy pickings once again for the goalkeeper, Michael Utaya. I thought that that was a good one still, but maybe the positioning of Mohindo just couldn't get the enough elevation and maybe 
the direction that the ball needed. And that's why you feel that um, you've got to get into the right position. And a shot here, but a good save from Andrew Sekandi. You can see that without that midfield control, it makes it very difficult for, for, for a team to get into any sort of rhythm. But it, it appears like from the way Musoka has been playing, they seem to have deployed a new tactic. Play the ball over the midfield, get uh, as uh, close as possible to Mugwa. Actually going to probably put him on notice. There's an attack here coming in from Mulimi, having a run in here with Logono, and that should be a corner kick. Yeah, that was a good run by Frank Mulimi, but you've got to credit Logono for, you know, getting back into position and making that chess on and making it very difficult uh, for Frank Mulimi to make that cross. Otherwise, you think that if he had, then you can never know where that ball ends up. So good defending from um, Logono. Chance now to whip it across. Cross in. Freehanda! Taken off the line. But will it count is the big question. Well, according to the referee, doesn't look like it crossed the line. So could be another corner. We have the benefit of the replay. Powerful header. Oh, got an absolutely. Wait, wait, wait. You can see that um, both sides have got one clear cut opportunity. But of course, the one of uh, Gaddafi being more clear. These two teams can. This is the kind of game that is there for the test. Short coming in from Isaac Dokamweru. Absolutely from nothing. Just as the fourth official signaled four minutes added on, the Gaddafi Arena runs into pandemonium. Going to enemy territory. And just look at that. He runs in. You ask yourself what the hell he was doing there for a defensive midfielder. Well, that, that, that doesn't matter. I just clearly think that um, Gaddafi were caught cold. Oh, they were poorly positioned. That was a good finish. But I don't know whether there's a, there's a bit of a suspicion of offside. Maybe a replay will show us uh, clearly at the time the pass was played in. And Gaddafi looking to restore parity right on the onset. Can the set piece this time pay off for them? Long ball. Straight header. And Mohindo able to hit the target by a country mile. Yeah, that was a good opportunity for Mohindo. I thought that the ball was uh, dipping it quite well for him to just guide it home and put it in the back of the net. I just don't understand. Problems with defenders, but then his uh, movements on and off the ball just didn't look uh, to be impressive enough for him to get chances being created for him. Now, Syria almost coming in. We know what he offers. He's a speedster and uh, clearly what the coach wants now, David Motono, is to bring somebody that's going to hurry those defenders but also one that they can easily find themselves susceptible to fouling to create um, those uh, what you call compromising situations uh, for Gaddafi in, near the penalty area. Well, we'll get confirmation in just a bit about who the second player was that exits the game. But take it off, gets underway. Gaddafi nil. Busoga United one. Because since that time, I haven't seen Gaddafi really play as well as uh, you probably would have hoped. Well, a shot from this test. Goalkeeper spills. Ball picked up here almost. Andrew Sechiganda has been constantly exposed by that defense. They are always throwing him to the wolves. These defense needs to tighten up, they need to tidy up, they need to be close knit they need to do the job they are named after, defend. Yeah, that's something that uh, I can only say again, the truth is that allowing such a shot to come in is an indictment. Corner, last off, free shot, goalkeeper saves, miscued clearance, coming down, settled out well here and blocked once again. Gaddafi are living at the mercy of Hail Marys here. There was a bit of space for him to try and explore. Squeeze ball through, but uh, that went to the hands of the goalkeeper. Some brilliant football in five seconds, and then you don't see them um, conjure up the same kind of pattern of play. That's a shot! Well blocked! Well, you already have my contender for man of the match, Andrew Sekandi. Out on the wing, Emmanuel Ajo. Ajo in possession, looking to carve out a shot here. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. It quite easily could have ended in the back of the net. To pass Amos Kiria. Looking to set the ball in. It's possession here. Setting themselves up. Well, had a chance here for Bala Bala. And he just puts it wide. Seem to be losing the floor, but um, you only hope that they do not lose sight of uh, the fact that this game is still on for another 10 or so minutes and they can still get back into this game. I know that the idea was really good. 
Well, Benson Mohindo will now be taken out of the furnace, and in his place, Stephen Boza will be expected at the bare least to be able to control the ball when it comes to him. Yeah, and uh, he definitely has got to be an improvement on uh, what Benson Mohindo has been doing in the game. Ball is up right here, chance for a throw in. Lamzi and the shot comes in, not on target. Ronald Bethun Sumbiano thought he was going to be turned from hero to villain. Yeah, he's uh, a late Aliba. Yeah, I, I think uh, that um, he's a bit the side of Lucia because I'm sure that um, picking up the ball. Long cross, forced into the box area. Jerome! Nice shot there from Amos Kiria. And the goalkeeper, very agile and right on target. And unleashing a massive shot there. Brilliant performance from the substitute, but yeah. equally good save. Yeah, I thought that um, the goalkeeper, Michael Utai, has done a pretty good job. But I also feel that maybe because um, Amos Kiria hit it with the weaker foot, it didn't have the venom that uh, was in it. But that's where I also think that um, got a chuckle there, probably in uh, an ironic, and it's uh, a and oh, and, and he headbutts the referee. Red. I guess it's his over. Sander Mulanda, say goodbye to your footballing career this season. It's a second yellow card here for Charles Mulanda. You're the captain, and you headbutt the referee. That is good night to your footballing career. Well, she'll be having her heart in her throat as a free kick comes up. Short! Goalkeeper repels Kiria Amos. Looking to twist. Turn one way. Keeps the ball alive. Trying to thread it in. It's all hands on decks. All bodies in that box area. And Michael Utaya wants a clean sheet. As we have now notched up 100 minutes of playtime. There was that long spell when Michael Utai was injured, as well as that red card. It's given quite the break in here. Chance coming up here, holding on to the ball. Lots of bodies there. Difficult situation, and the shot that comes in the end is a dismal one. And the referee pulls the plug.